case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. The Supreme Court of the State of Hawaii grappled with a complex issue in 1977's Sawada v. Endo case. Can a husband's interest in property jointly owned with his wife be seized by his individual creditors during their joint lives? The case stemmed from a situation in which a husband, Kokichi Endo, had shrewdly transferred property ownership to his sons, Samuel H. Endo and Toru Endo, to elude his outstanding debts. This led to a lawsuit filed by plaintiffs Masako Sawada and Helen Sawada. They had suffered injuries caused by Kokichi Endo and successfully obtained monetary judgments against him. Unfortunately, in their pursuit to extract the owed funds, they stumbled upon the murky legal grounds surrounding the property held by Kokichi and his wife, Ume Endo, under a tenancy by the entirety arrangement, a legal structure that seemed to protect the property from the reach of individual creditors. Originally, the lower court concluded that this conveyance of the property was not fraudulent, stirring disappointment in the Sawadas and prompting them to take the battle to higher legal grounds. Now the Supreme Court was to review the case within the wider scope of the Married Women's Property Acts. Upon meticulous scrutiny of the case, the court upheld the lower court's decision, affirming that the principle behind the Married Women's Property Acts indeed safeguarded a spouse's interest in an estate held jointly from the reach of their individual creditors. Consequently, it ruled that the endowment of the marital property by the couple to their sons was not fraudulent, but within the bounds of legal propriety. This crucial verdict suffused considerable clarity into the debate surrounding tenancy by the entirety and its interaction with individual creditor claims. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.